M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Kenwood TS2000. Today we're looking at firmware. So on the left here, we've got the instructions for installing the firmware. On the right hand side, we've got some links. Here is how you check the firmware. So if we open this up, turn the transceiver on while pressing the mic and NR key and it tells you the firmware. You've got the, the instructions for doing it on the TSB2000 there as well. And next over, we've got the, the firmware history, and I'll definitely put a link in that. And the most recent one was July 2015. It said, revise the following symptoms. Use, uh, let's have a look now. When using a single paddle, the internal ele electronic Kia generated dots and dashes. And then it goes on all the different firmware. I'm not going to read them all, but you can see, read them at your leisure. So there's a few bugs there they had to sort out. And then we've got this nice PDF of the actual TS2000, which is a jack in the box, basically, uh, covering VHF, UHF. And then you have the TSB2000 with this nice software that controlled it and also front head unit. So anyway, back to the firmware process. It seems like you have to turn the device upside down and switch a little firmware switch here. They do show a clear diagram of this. So you've got... S1 there and then on is update and off. So we will do this process, but not in this video. This is just showing you how to do it. So once you've downloaded it, the download looks like this. And I'll put a link in, of course. So when you scroll down, keep going and right at the bottom, download the zip and you know, you've got instructions link there as well. And even a link there for the memory channels that you can uh, edit using free software. So click download and then it goes to your downloads folder here. Let's have a quick look what it looks like. Moving this over. So I haven't got the radio connected, but you click set up here, open it. Of course, connect your RS-232 cable on the back. You can just see there where I'm circling, just there, RS-232, DB9. And really, you need a female connector, but you can use an adapter. And then the other end, you can get USB-C for your modern PC. So once you've run it, as you can see here, you get this window open. It says, select your COM port. And then to start communication between the PC and the TS-2000, click OK. Remember, you're going to put the device into firmware mode. So it says here, remove the power supply cable from the TS2000, remove the RS232 cable, remove the bottom cover, turn the switch, the S1 switch on, reconnect the 2S3232, reconnect the power supply. When you are ready, click OK to start. And it gets, gives you a diagram. The new firmware will be transferred into the main CPU flash ROM. Takes about seven minutes. Caution, do not operate a keyboard and mouse. So basically don't touch anything while it's doing it. And then it's completed. And then return, um, return the TS2000 to normal. Remove the power, the cable. Turn the switch off. Reattach the bottom. Reconnect the power supply. And then you do have to do a full reset at the end for it to take. Um, to do a full reset. Whilst power, it says here, press power to turn the transceiver on while you're holding the A equals B. And it's, is it the same? Slightly different for the uh, TB2000. Press power button to turn the transceiver on. Press reset button on the front panel to perform a, a full reset because that one doesn't have a screen. So there you go. So I still, I think it was, you know, ahead of its time when it came out. I'm, you know, I can see why they have discontinued it because, you know, they went down this road of SDR, like ICOM 7300s, and they also tried to make it, well, not try, they did make us buy several transceivers. So we buy one radio for HF six meters, another radio, dual band radio, so VHF, UHF. And then they, I, I feel like they, 
you know, the Kenwood, Yesu and Icon preferred that. And they didn't really like the whole shack in the box thing. Because I, I think they feel that it made people buy less radios. Maybe they're right. Who knows? So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And that's the firmware process. And of course, we will do it soon. Bye.